Has it ever crossed your mind that you may have already made the song that you need to take you to the next level? Like you may have already created your breakout hit. You may have already created the song that's supposed to take you to the next level, bro. Like you may have already created the vibe that you needed to really break out and be that shining star that we all down inside really want to be, you know what I mean? Even the most humble person that's like, bro, I just want people to listen to my music. It's like, yeah, that's what we all want. You know, some people want the the attention that comes with it and, and the fame, and some people just want to be heard, you know what I mean? But when it all boils down, it's all one and the same, man. We all want to be heard. That's that's the base of it, all right? But what I'm saying is you may have already created that song. You just may have never gave the music a proper push, right? So I want to give you some great examples of songs that blew up later. Now, I want you to understand that this doesn't mean that the song wasn't known or people didn't know the song prior to it blowing up. It's like something happened in, in all these cases, something happened that just gave the song life that just made it bigger than what it initially was like it finally clicked to the masses and then it just went crazy right so what was it right that's what you want to figure out so you can do it for yourself but it's also like i want you to understand that you don't always need to focus on what's next you need to focus on what you already did and how you could revive it music doesn't get old right especially being a upcoming artist right but even being a super successful artist right people still pay to go see 50 cent perform songs from get rich or die trying or the massacre or you know so why as upcoming artists we feel like damn i dropped the song people liked it it ain't really go crazy like I thought it would. All right, on to the next. It's like, man, we leaving a lot of potential on the table every time we do that. And it's 2023, bro. It's April 1st. I haven't dropped a song yet. And yeah, if you know me, you know I drop a lot of music. But not only has just dealing with life, but I also been thinking like, bro, in the past three, four, five years, I put out a ton of music. But have I ever gave myself or gave the music a proper chance to really break through? Like, have I ever gave a song the proper push? Honestly, I can answer that question and tell you, no, never, never. I drop something, people love it, I promote it maybe for a couple weeks. Maybe the longest I maybe promoted something was maybe a couple months. You know? And then I just move on to the next. But I'm realizing I'm hurting myself, man. I'm hurting myself. It's like I'm waiting on something magical to happen, right? Like I drop a song and then it just go crazy. But it's like that's unrealistic. These songs that blow up, there's things that play into it, right? So let's get into a list, right? Let's start off. Kanye West, Gone. I don't know if you know the song, but Kanye West, Gone. Kanye West, Gone was on the late registration album, right? 2005, right? Bro, the song didn't hit Billboard until 2013, right? What happened? What made the song hit billboard in 2013 well this uh this lady she like quit her job and she desi decided she was gonna make a video basically saying goodbye and she danced to kanye west gone and then what happens this shit picks up traction it goes viral next thing you know the song is back alive at its biggest point it has ever been and next thing you know it's on billboard all right 
So just think about that. Like, maybe you just haven't created the proper piece of content to promote that song. Like, you didn't do enough to make it click. Like, you didn't sell it. You put it out there. You, you created the product, but you didn't sell it. So that's why I want people to understand, like, the music is the product. So we spend all our time creating the product, but we forget that we still got to sell it. We're not selling it. We're just making it. And I'm making this video because I want to hopefully inspire you and let a light bulb go off in your head. Like, you know what? He right. But I'm talking to myself. Like, I know it. Like, I spend all my time making a product, but I'm not selling it. So I got to spend more time selling the product just as much time as I spend creating the product, right? Another song, let's jump into it. Juice World, Lucid Dreams. It blew up like a year after it dropped. Like a year after it dropped. And that's potentially, well, not potentially. It's, it's more so because when it first dropped, it didn't really get the push that it should have got initially from the label. But, like, it was obviously a song that Juice World was rocking with. So he like, you know what? I like this song. Let's shoot the video. We should, they shot the video with Cole Bennett. It just started even going more crazy. And then the label gets behind it and the rest is history. You know what I mean? So like almost a year later, he could have just dropped it and be like, ah, oh, they ain't rocking with it. Nah, we on to the next. But he's like, nah, I really like this song. Let's shoot the video. Let's do this. Let's do that. Whether, whether they believe it or not, I believe in it. Let's go with it. All right. Then you got... XXX Tentacion, I think that's how you say it, but everybody just call him X. Look at me now, y'all know the whole controversy with, with that song, you know, they say Drake stole the flow and blah, 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 and Ju I mean, uh, X was locked up at the time, and then he gets out, and then the song just goes crazy, and it was almost like two years later, bro, like, he dropped the song in like 2015, it really like hit Billboard like 2017, two years later. Right? Just think, two years later, like he made the song two years prior to when it actually picked up the traction and it gained the attention it needed. So I just hear that and I think, bro, I got hundreds of songs that I've released. I dropped 50 something songs, uh, or maybe 40 something. I'm not sure. I may have dropped like, I don't know. I may have dropped 48 songs last year. I ain't shoot not one video, or maybe I did, can't really remember. I don't think so. I dropped 48 songs, I dropped no videos, I ain't really do nothing creatively as far as content go to promote these songs, it's all on me. One of those songs could literally be the song that is gonna take me to the next level and have me moving in a direction I really wanna move in and get me closer to living the life I really wanna live. But guess what? I'm not selling the product. I created all these different products and I'm not selling none of them. It's on me, all right? Lizzo, Truth Hurts, blew up like two years later. Why? They end up using a, a specific part of the song in a TikTok challenge, we out of here. It's that simple, we out of here. So when you making your music, Right? I'm not, don't, I'm not gonna encourage anyone to think of TikTok when you making music. That's gonna take away from the, um, it's gonna take away from the vibe in my opinion. It's gonna take away from the way you create. Don't think about that, but I'm saying once you're done making a song and you like the song, go back and listen to the lyrics and just think about ways you can break the lyrics down and create content around it. You know what I mean? Like. Great example, uh, I have a song, I can't remember the name of it, but in the beginning, I have like an ad lib, and it's like, you niggas is making it hot, All right? And I heard that the other day, and I'm like, bro, I could like make a skit around it or something, like, uh, I'm gonna do it too, uh, I'm gonna do it today, I'm gonna make sure I do it just to give it a chance, you feel me? Like, gotta get more creative with promoting the music, right? Yo, you ready to record? Like, <laughs> you ready to record? Yeah, bro, we need some fire, bro. Like, come on, man. We've been all waiting, bro. Like, let's get it. We need some heat. Why is there so many niggas in here? 
It's hot as fuck in here. Nigga, we came here for the vibes. What you mean? We here for the vibes. We here for the vibes. What you mean? This game. What you mean? What you mean while we all here? It's the stool. You gonna record or not? You gonna record or not, bro? Come on, man. I'm ready. Let's get it then. I bet. Let's get it. You niggas just making it hot. Can't nobody take what I got. Everybody in their feelings. Ain't nobody level wrong. But my idea is like, I'm like, you niggas is making it hot. And in the video, you know, they always have a title and then you have the song and then you have the clips to like go along, play along with it. So I'm gonna have like, it's gonna be me like in my studio, right? So the title is gonna be like, uh, when there's too many people in the studio or I might say when there's too many black people in the studio or I don't know, however I must do it, but and basically it's just gonna it's gonna show me like it's gonna show the people in the studio like engineer you're gonna have one person sitting here one person sitting there it's all gonna be me right you're gonna just have all these different people sitting there right <laughs> and then you're gonna have me recording like you niggas is making it hot and like i feel like it just might connect it might be funny to some people somebody probably like oh that's funny you know what i mean and it just might but you might hear it and be like well damn what's that song and that's all it really takes, right? So, another song, Fetty Wap, Trap Queen. A year later, man, he dropped it like March of one year, and then hit Billboard to February the next year. So, have you ever promoted a song for an entire year? One song? I guarantee you haven't. I know I haven't. Like I told y'all, the most I promote something, a couple weeks, maybe a couple months, I've never promoted nothing longer than a couple months. I'd be like, on to the next. But you gotta get out of that habit of being like, on to the next. Like, no. No. If you believe in a song, you believe in a project, keep promoting it. Keep finding different ways to give it life. It's very important in order to succeed. And I'm realizing that. So it's like, right now, it's like a part of me don't even wanna make new music because I left so much money on the table already. It's like, no, let's go back and pick up these bags first. And then, we're going to make everybody realize what they missed out on first. And then we're going to drop the new stuff. So everybody wondering, like, where the new music? Where the new music? It's coming. But y'all still ain't heard the old music. You feel me? So it's cool. We gonna we got to take care of that first. Then we're going to drop the new music. You know what I mean? So like I said, Fetty Wap, Trap Queen, a year later, uh, N.W.A., straight out of Compton. It dropped in, like, 1988 as a single. It didn't hit Billboard. Well, I'm not I'm not sure. It may have Billboard before then, but I know it appeared back on Billboard or on Billboard for the first time. You might have to fact check me. I'm not 100% sure, but it hit Billboard in um, 2015. It was around the time that the Straight Outta Compton biopic came out, right? Everybody know they used the Straight Outta Compton song as the theme song for the whole uh, movie, right? For the whole biopic, and that gave it like a new life. Like, I'm not saying that no one knew the song. Like, a lot of people knew the song. We all knew the song, but it never reached the heights it reached until they, like, basically that song was the whole driving force to that biopic. So, basically, this song has a whole movie that's promoting this one song. So, you can see how that just made the song so much bigger than it already was right so just think about this like you gotta build content around the music right so all all these examples there was content built around the music there was something else going on there was a uh, another um there was something outside of the music that made it pop more right whether it was a TikTok, whether it was a music video, whether it was uh, somebody decided to create content like they did for Kanye West when she was dancing to the song or Straight Outta Compton. They shot a movie, a biopic about the whole group, and they decided this song is going to be the song that sets the tone. So and you got to realize like all of these songs got a new life 
and they got to reach their full potential because someone somewhere believed in the song enough to say, that's it. I don't care how old it is, we running with it. I like this song, we're gonna keep pushing it until everybody understand that this is it, you know what I mean? So, boom. Then you got YW Melly, uh, Murder On My Mind. Song blew up like a year after it dropped. And but yeah, man, this like, I'm giving you example after example after example to where like, it took these people over a year or longer to really get the song to reach its full potential. <clears throat> so how many songs are you sitting on right now? My bad. Siri trying to talk to me. I ain't say nothing to you, Siri. <laughs> how many songs are you sitting on right now that haven't reached its full potential? Me, personally, King Buzz, I'm sitting on, man, I can't tell you how many songs I'm sitting on right now that ain't reached their full potential. I got so many bangers and I know they bangers, but I just, I half-assed it and I could admit that. I didn't give it its, its, its just due. I didn't give it its, its the time it needed, the, 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 the content built around it that it needed. I didn't really put the energy into it that I should have. I felt like the song was just good enough to the point where I, when I dropped it, it should have did what it was supposed to do, but it's not how it works. And it takes time to learn these things, but hopefully my years of learning and failing and trying and trying, hopefully when I come make a video like this to give you the game for free, you understand so you could skip the years of learning and failing and you just skip the line, go straight to the top. Like, oh yeah, I know what to do. That's what we finna do. We finna just keep. We're gonna promote, 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 promote. Promoting is the most important thing. It's more important than the actual music itself. All right, I just want people to know that. Another example, uh, Mac Miller, Knock Knock. Um, he dropped it on the mixtape. Forgot the name of the mixtape. Forgive me. He dropped it on the mixtape. And then he dropped it as a single. Right? Like, he dropped it as a mixtape. He's like, damn, that's the one. Dropped it as a single. Boom, boom, boom. Next thing you know, it's on Billboard. Right? So, all these examples, I'm just letting you know. You may have already created the song. But now you got to do the work to find out if you already created it or not. You got to build content around all the music. Like I said, break the music up. Break it down to just the lyrics. Stop trying to promote the whole song at one time. You don't got to do that. The short form con content that's booming right now allows you to break down these songs. You could take a 15 second part of the song, do something creative with it, and that 15 seconds could change the whole outcome of how that song performs. You don't have to even sell the entire song no more. You can just sell them 15 seconds of it. That 15 seconds go crazy. Now everybody checking out the whole thing. They're like, damn, this 15 seconds is, I follow this. Let me go hear the whole song. Next thing you know, a billion streams, number two on Billboard, or you in the top 100, hot 100 on Billboard, top 200, and your life is changing. But you got to put in the work. There's no way around putting in the work. You just got to put in the work. Hopefully this video helped you. Hopefully you get what I'm saying. And if you're wondering where my new music is, it's coming eventually. But for now, let's focus on let's focus on the old music, man. So yeah, I'm be going through my songs, just listening and figuring out different ways I could promote these songs and build skits around them and stuff that I always wanted to do and I knew I could do and I just never did it. And I don't know why, like. But it's just, it's just time now, man. Like, So, yeah, look forward to seeing some more skits and stuff for me. Just promoting the music different ways. And, yeah, man, hopefully this video helped. Hopefully it gave you some insight. Hopefully you realize, like, damn, I already got a banger. I need to keep promoting it. And I feel like you should just keep promoting it, bro. Like, you know the song hard, keep promoting it. Um, there's no timeline on the success of the music. It really not. You know what I mean? You could be like, damn, I promoted it for two months. It ain't blow. Like, well, what's the feedback? You know what I mean? Everybody said they like it, but, you know, they really ain't. Man, keep promoting it. Everybody said they like it. Why would you stop? Obviously, it's something about it. You just ain't 
hit that turning point yet. But you ain't gonna never hit the turning point if you stop promoting it. So I'm encouraging all artists to, you know, go back to the catalog, look at the music you already got, keep promoting the music you already got. And that's what I'm encouraging Dream Team to do right now. Like, bro, like everybody like, man, I'm working on the next project, work on the next project. I'm telling all my niggas, nigga, fuck the next project. We gotta promote this shit we already got. This shit hard. Every time niggas hear this shit, they say, this shit hard. Why y'all niggas not popping? Why y'all niggas not signed? Why y'all niggas not on? This shit is phenomenal. This music sound amazing. Nigga, this shit dope. This shit should be on the radio. I hear this shit all the time, every day. And it's my fault. It's my fault it's not on the radio. It's, it's my fault I didn't blow up yet. It's my fault I'm not successful like I really want to be. It's, it's my fault. I can't, I'm not blaming no one, bro. And that's the best thing. That's what I love about me, nigga, is that self-accountability. Like, I'm not blaming nobody. I understand that I just ain't did what I needed to do yet. That's why I'm not where I want to be. So, I just got to keep working, keep growing. You feel me? And keep learning and applying and maneuvering and altering and changing my approach. And I'm going to get where I'm trying to go. That's a fact. I'm so determined and nothing's going to stop me. There's no quitting me. There's no like, eh, maybe I should hang it up. Hang it up? What the fuck is we hanging up? We ain't hanging up shit, but um, plaques. <laughs> you know what I mean? We ain't hanging up shit, but plaques, nigga. <laughs> you feel me, but we're going to get grown, keep going strong. I know what's going on. It's your boy King Buzz, and I'm out of here. Yeah.